Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and in the age of COVID we all kind of are working in different environments. We either have a fuller house than normal, you may have been evicted from your office like I have, and I just don't have the acoustical control over my environment that I used to. So I've kind of had to adapt and it's definitely had a negative impact on the audio quality. Now one of the things a lot of people have told me is try out RTX Voice and that's exactly what I am doing today. So if you're interested, RTX Voice is a plug-in from NVIDIA. It's completely free but you do need to have an RTX powered card, specifically a 20 2060, 2070, 2080, or I'm assuming all of the new 30 cards. So this does not include the 1650 or earlier cards in the series. But if you have any of those, it is available completely free. And you see it leverages those GPUs and AI capabilities for removing background noises from your broadcast, voice chat, video conferencing, etc. Basically machine learning to figure out what background noise is and takes it out. If you're curious, what we are listening to right now is my microphone. It's a Shure MV51. I'll have links to all this stuff down below for some reason you want to pick up the same stuff I've got got it but that's what we are going to hear right now and we are not we do not have RTX voice on right now so I'm going to show it on this microphone and also on my headset both on and off and I want your opinion RTX on or off what sounds the best it's also, by the way, available in the NVIDIA broadcast app. This is kind of like the same thing, but it's like a, it's as an application instead of as a driver. The cool thing about this is it works out pretty easily. What you do is you get this thing, a RTX voice installs like so, and you're basically, hey, why did you just minimize? All right, let's try that again. Uh, it installs like so. You you set up your input device and, that you want to use. So in this case, I'm going to use my Shure MV51, your output device, and then you say the amount of background noise to remove. So we've got 100% noise um, suppression on. That is the default, and that is what we are going to go with. So right now, again, it is off. Now I'm going to do a couple things. First off, I will showcase it with some background noise. I'm going to turn my TV on in just a second and uh, keyboard typing. And I'm going to talk while typing. So here we go with my uh, really loud mechanical keyboard going. All right, so there we got some typing and my voice in the background. Obviously, there's nothing special going on here. The MV51 does have some noise removal to a certain degree, but it's never done a good job on keyboards. Now I'm just going to go turn on my TV. All right, there we go. So now we have some background noise of CNN from my TV. It's about 40 feet away, but it's up pretty loud. So it should definitely be being listened. You can hear it in the background. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn RTX voice on. I'm going to go mute my TV and we'll start from there. Okay, so RTX Voice is now on, and I gotta say, I actually live by a pretty significant highway here. Uh, it's, you know, uh, let's see, what is that? Four lane highway, five lane highway. Uh, so there is generally a large amount of ambient noise in my environment anyways. Now both my headset and my microphone do a pretty good job with it, but it is a good test environment. Now obviously one of those things we wanted to test with again was the keyboard running in the background. This is the mic by the way, an MV51. And RTX voice on, I'm typing in the background with my super loud mechanical keyboard. Um, and now I think it is time for the TV test. So I shall be right back. All right, there we go. So now we've got some uh, TV running in the background, exact same volume as before. It's not on commercial where they annoyingly crank the volume in North America. So it should be at roughly the same level. So we're going to see exactly what difference that made there. So basically this was a test. This was with RTX voice on, some background noise going and everything else. So now we're going to switch over to my headset and we're going to have RTX voice off. So this next one, this is a Logitech Pro X with the blue voice. Now blue voice also does, it's a little bit of an inline sound card that does some noise cancellation as well. So let's switch over to it, RTX. Okay, so here we are with the Logitech headset. Now to your end device, when you're setting it up, OBS Studio, Camtasia, whatever your recording software is, you shouldn't have to change anything. It should still map through, but what you do have to do when you switch devices is go to the control panel and make sure that it is set up to use the next device you wish. Now at this point in time, this is just the headset. Again, there is a certain amount of noise cancellation built into the headset due to the, uh, the sound card and the software that's around it. Uh, and it's a solid headset. I actually can recommend it. It's nice for gaming as well. It works well. And this has been my just in case in the world of, um, you know, COVID, where if I have zero control over my environment, a headset really does kind of narrow the sound down, but it also makes it sound like a little bit like you've got your head in an aquarium. So there are definitely trade offs there. But this is now we're recording with just straight out. Uh, the RTX is off straight to the headset. And now I'm going to go ahead and go turn on the uh, TV in the background. Be right back. All right, after waiting like six hours for the commercials to end, there is the TV in the background at the same standard volume level. Um, yeah, so I guess the only thing I forgot to do is a keyboard test. So let me go pause my background noise, come back here, do a keyboard test, and then we're going to switch over to the headset RTX on and do the final test. All right, so I'll be right back. 
Man, I'm getting a lot more steps than I was expecting. All right, so here we go. So now we're going to do with the typing part. There we go. Typing in the background. And I'm going to scroll because this guy's face is starting to freak me out. All right, there we go. Different guy. Yeah, still freaking me out a little bit. All right, so typing while I talk. All right, so that is it. This is, again, just the headset with um, no RTX voice turned on. Now let's go ahead, turn RTX voice on, and final test. All right, be right back. All right, we are in the final stretch. Logitech Pro X headset, RTX voice on. Uh, all other settings are completely normal. Uh, I'm going to just remember straight up this time to actually do the keyboard typing test first. There we go. And hopefully I don't have to listen to an hour and a half worth of TV commercials this time. But let's go see what's going on with the TV, and I shall be right back. All right, there we go. Maybe You might be wondering what the heck I'm listening to in the background. I just tossed the news on because then I'm not going to get any weird YouTube copyright strikes or anything like that going on. But it is on loud. It's actually a very annoying volume level. So it is going to be pushing the test capability of background noise removal here. Now, I got to imagine the last, I can't hear these until I'm done producing anyways. But I got to imagine the headset probably did the best job at getting rid of background noise because it's more of a directional mic in the first place. Uh, but it'd be interesting to see if RTX voice did its magic job. All right, so that is a full test. One last keyboard test here. Uh, let's make sure I'm not focused on my recorder. All right, so there's the keyboard in the background. Got noise going on in the background. RTX voice on using a headset. All right, so that is all things tested. I will just conclude now with uh, RTX voice on with the standard mic because this would probably be the default that I will use from. All right, there we go. We're back to the Shure MV51. RTX voice is currently turned on. I'll be interested to hear the end results. I haven't heard anything. So there, we've got one, which was uh, RTX off with the Shure MV51. Two, RTX on with the Shure MV51. Three, RTX off with the Logitech Pro X. Four, Logitech uh, Pro X with RTX off on and then finally this is back to two so we're uh, at the conclusion i'm using my sure mic mv71 uh, or sorry mv51 with uh logitech <laughs> it's all leading together with uh, nvidia voice on right now um in theory this one should sound the best it is the best mic and in an ideal settings it's a mic i can continue to use but i'll be interested to hear the final results to see how well each one did with noise removal in the background and what my vocal quality was like but what i would like you to do if you could in the comments down below unfortunately i don't think i could put a poll uh but just let me know one two three or four so one is just the straight out mv51 Two is MV51 with RTX voice on, which is also what you're hearing right now. Three was the um, Logitech headset. And four was the Logitech headset with M uh, with the um, NVIDIA voice on. So once again, if you're interested, if you have an RTX card 2060, 2070, or 2080, that is what you've experienced with it on and off with a couple of different devices. And again, all you do is come in here and toggle between them. It's really simple and straightforward. Uh, I'm at least impressed with the user experience. Now we get to find out if I'm impressed with the audio. In terms of the audio, uh, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to have standard compression on each track. So I'm going to allow the compressor to go through and basically just kind of make it sure that they're all recorded at the same as volume. That's the only post-processing I'm going to do. Again, every device we dealt with today, the MV51 and the Logitech Pro X, all have a certain degree of compression and noise removal built into them. And I think it's one of those things you can play around with. So I could turn off noise compression on both things and see if... Um, NVIDIA uh, voice, uh, RTX voice does a good job with it or not, but that's way beyond the scope of what I want to do with today. Today, I just want to take it as I use it and see if RTX voice made it better or not, but I'd love to hear your voice down below. One, two, three, or four, which one you like the best, or you can, of course, go with none of the above. All right, so that's it. That is RTX voice. I will, of course, have all the appropriate links down below, and I'll link to all the devices if you're interested in picking anything up. Okay, let me know what you think. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.